So in this next series of videos, I'm going to be taking apart this uh, 9.5 horsepower Johnson motor to use on an engine that I'm fixing up. So I don't know what year this thing is yet, but it is a MQ-12A. So we'll go ahead and look that up, find out what year it is. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll uh, show you the motor I'm working on too. That's what I got so far. As you can see, I got a little ways to go. So the first thing I like to do is take the hood off. I just whenever I get a motor and just kind of investigate for any friends or any critters living inside of there. Um, this uh, is looking pretty good so far. Looks a little old, a little dusty, but should uh, clean up halfway decently. Let's go ahead and take the camera off and show you what it looks like. So, choke's working. Well, idle just working. Choke needs some attention here. All right, choke is fixed-ish. Not seized. Side rope engages. So, not too bad. Oh, I'll get started. So I'm gonna open up my model number reference guide and we're gonna figure out what kind of engine we have. That MQ actually looks like a uh, MO. So we'll give that a try. Well, yeah, MQ-12 is a 1966 9.5. Let's see what an MO is. No such thing. So I'm going to go ahead and vote it's an MQ. All right, I have the motor tilted all the way up. So what I need to do first, well, what I like to do first is pull the lower unit off. So to do that, I'm going to bolt here, here, and two on the other side. Can't really see them, but I'll get them off there. For some reason, I don't know if they're all like this, but it's got a smaller bolt here than it does here. This one's a 3 8 top is a 7 16 All right, bolts are out. So now we can do wheel and slider on out of there. So what that did, we'll drop it down a little bit. And now we can do that shift rod seal. Uh, excuse me, not shift rod seal, but shift rod connector. Um, it's got a flat head on it. I'll try that first, but chances are I'll be putting a socket on there. Surprise, it's too tight for the flat, flat head. So I have a 3 8 inch socket. Put that inside of there. Use that to crack it loose. Now, when you're doing this, there's a very good chance the socket's going to get stuck. Or the screw's going to fall out. Something weird's going to happen. So it's a good idea to clean the floor beforehand. I got lucky, whole thing came out. So to ease removal, what I'll do is I'll get a flathead in here, at least try to, and prop those tabs open a little wider. And naturally, can't easily find one. There we go. Now our loader will slide right on out of there. Looks like our water tubes come with it. There's our lower unit. So I have the lower on the holding fixture. I already broke these bolts loose, then put them on. So what I'm going to do is drain the oil, let it sit here for a while, make sure it all gets out of there. This will also give you an idea what it looks like before uh, any work's done. Yeah, not too bad. It's not clumping out of there, but it's not exactly draining out of there either. It's a milky. Chances are, I don't feel any metal shavings, but chances are the uh, gears inside are okay. Just needs to be resealed. So, Let's see if I can back up my dolly with the cell phone attached to it here. I'll kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at. You can see it kind of dripping out of there. But let it sit for a little while. So it's common for these guys to be kind of stuck. So what I have is a screwdriver socket here. So what I do one hand, 
apply pressure. With the other hand, rotate the socket down. So, looked like it came right off. I was pushing pretty hard there. So we'll back our pivot pin screw out. And we'll do the same thing for the bottom screws. Just make sure everything comes out. That one's pretty tight. I'll do that one last. So, all are decently free except for two. That one's free enough. Looks like this one's gonna give me some trouble. All right, plan B. All right, what I have is an impact screwdriver. This one's kind of a piece of crap. It's already somewhat on its last leg, but usually these do the trick. Try it again and see what happened. Yep, right off. So, that's the beauty of an impact screwdriver. Oh, you can't see it. I'm doing it all, can you? Yep, I'm dropping tools. That's what I'm doing. So all those are loose, let's get them out of there. And one screw had a little, uh, a little messed up, not bad, but I'll replace it. By the way, problem with replacing those, like eight bucks each. So there's the inside of our gears. They look quite nice. Zoom in a little here. Go ahead and shift this thing out of gear. I can rotate everything. Go ahead and go the right way. There we go. And we are in neutral. Oh yeah. Wash these gears, they look brand new. Oh, good enough. I don't need lower, I was just curious. Well, it's just a lower. I have another video on how to reseal one of these things. Well, if you got any uh, questions on the lower unit, just let me know. But I'll put it back together and pretty much done with it at this point.